Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric sculptures and cloth dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them child, they would not stop talking to me and this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sizzling, hot, spicy, juicy story about human evolution and the current condition of humanity. It is for adults only. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, which is based off of the personalities and characteristics of my Jungle Beauty Goddess fabric sculptures. If you are interested in making a cloth doll child, I have a plethora of free tutorials on doll making on my channel. All you need to do is click the button here. If you enjoy information about chakras, gemstones, oils, um, metaphysical knowledge, ancient wisdom, magic, welcome home darling. This is the channel where we embrace the weird and the wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. Do you know I was bit at least six to eight times, probably more y'all, by yellow jacket wasp. Yes, bites all over my body, everywhere. My arm was swollen, my legs tore me up. Okay, tore me up. So anyway, I called the exterminator and they came out four times. And each time they came out, they said, oh, Girl, you, you're not going to see another one. They said it was a massive nest, a yellow jacket nest that took my entire bedroom wall. Like a huge, I mean, I don't know size, but like an entire wall. They said it was a massive nest. So basically, you know, um, I saw them. They were, I heard them like, you know, knocking, like knock, you know, you can hear the knocking in the wall all night long. Just like just little busy things. And for some reason, you know, this is so weird. I didn't, you know, I wasn't alarmed. And when I would see them in my in my bedroom, child, they didn't go to any other room in my house, not one other room, okay? And I would just think, oh, they're just they're just beautiful creatures. They're God's creatures. I would try to catch them with like a little handheld vacuum cleaner, take them outside, and say, you be happy, okay? You know, I don't want to hurt anything, girl. They start tearing me up. So. Anyway, so um, they came out, they exterminated, they say you'll never see them again. Maybe about two, three weeks later, I would see one, two, three, boom. They would come back again full blast. I would wake up with the mm, coming by my, I'm like, oh, like, what is this? So I knew it was at some, at this point, child, by the second go, I knew it was personal. I knew God was trying to talk to me. I didn't know what he was saying or what she was saying. I know what she was saying, okay, but I knew it was a serious message. So I looked up yellow jacket symbolism. This happened like August 2019, okay. And so I was like, okay, because my room was a was a wreck, and you know, I really, I really, you know, I wasn't really doing what I was supposed to be doing in my life. And when, when I say that. I mean, like, you know how you may have a, a dream tucked away in your heart? Like, I had started book three, um, but I really hadn't done any real, like, let's finish up book three. I had all my notes, but, I, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it, right? So let me just tell you a little bit about the yellow jacket and what the symbolism mean. And I looked it up after the second round. It says, um, this if they come into your life, child, this is, what they're, this is what's going on. Um, that the symbolic wasp meanings, it means that you, there needs to be order, progress, teamwork, involvement, development, productivity, construction, communication. Um, but basically, uh, so basically, okay, my house, my room was a disaster. I'm not going to say a lot of you. It, all of the stuff from doll making and things, I, it was, it was, you know, ordered chaos for me child but it was a mess but I said okay maybe I just need to clean up 
So I started cleaning up my room and I started throwing a lot of things away because really because I, I mean I didn't, the yellow jackets were tearing me up. So even after the second time and they came out and, they, and we're talking Terminex y'all, they were like, this is it. I promise you. Boom. They came back again. It took four times for them to actually, I don't even know, I'm looking forward to the summer to see if they're coming back. Oh, oh I'm not. But anyway, they said if yellow jackets come into your life, here are some of the questions you need to start asking yourself. And this is from, let me see her website. I find her stuff to be really good. I'm going to leave it, the whole article in the description box below. But here are some of the questions you should ask yourself. Are all my affairs in order? Am I aligning myself with my goals? Uh, psh, God, hello. Why are you getting personal? Why are you stinging me up? Uh, am I procrastinating about something? Uh, whoa, procrastinating about something? Yeah, all right. Am I keeping myself from reaching my highest potential? Wait, wait, guys, do you hear me? These, these are the questions that the universe is asking you if yellow jacket wasps are invading your life. Are you, are you listening? Am I keeping myself from reaching my, reaching my highest potential? Am I following, wait, am I allowing my progress to be held back by others? Child, at the time I was helping somebody else with their book, with my own book, not even being written or finished rather. Um, so basically, if wasps are coming to your life, it's just pretty much saying that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing with your life. So I read this, I nearly knew that God was telling me the universe, all that is. You need to get on that book, girl. You need to finish book three. Even after I understood what the yellow jacket wasp symbolism meant, I started bargaining with God. I said, you know, God, finishing book three, you know, oh, oh let me tell you. So, I, after, you know, I was a little insulted. I said, look, God, I wrote book one. I wrote book two. I've read all of these books and nothing happened. I've like put myself in all type of debt trying to promote myself. And I'm just like, how can you expect me to write book three when nothing has happened with book one and two? And, um... Anyway, so and that's when the next round of Yellow Jackets came out. So they came back and I started, you know, I woke up and I got stung again. I said, oh, wait a minute. I'm not in a position to negotiate. When my son was growing up, there were times he would ask me for things like, you know, about his about school that I totally disagree with. And I used to tell my son, sometimes you need to understand when you have a Boeing arrow, arrow and somebody else have a gun, you can't negotiate with me. There is no negotiation. No, you're going to school. This is how it's going to be. So when I was talking to God about the yellow jacket wasp stinging me up every morning, every night, you know, <laughs> going on my ear, um, I, I realized that I had a Boeing arrow and that the universe had the gun, child. And there was nothing I could, there was no negotiation. So there was a complete breakdown. Like, I don't really feel like anybody cares. And finally, you know, God kept saying to me, you, ha you have to trust me. So actually, I ended up cleaning up my room, throwing away a lot of things. And I disciplined myself to sit down and actually finish writing, writing book three. And it's really because of the yellow jackets. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie. It wasn't because I was just so, I had kind of like given up on myself. I had given up on my dream of dreams. I kind of felt that nobody cared. And, um, you know, I really, I thank God for the yellow jackets stinging me up because, you know, I've already started to write book four and I kind of, not kind of, I'm not going to let that happen again, child. It was not fun at all. Another thing that was really interesting about the, about the, yellow jacket wasp infestation you know attack is that it actually changed the ending of book three the ending that i had originally written for the book it didn't fit anymore it was like i'm not gonna say what it's about but i'm just saying that it made me feel like no child you need to no what is this what what is this so it just made me understand that you have to be tough in life and when something, when obstacles come in your path, you know, you have to 
you have to, you know, you have to go through those obstacles. You don't get to, oh, I'm just, it's going to be great. I'm just going to pray it away, child, and it's going to work out. And then another thing that God told me that I thought was so profound, and I, he said, money doesn't mean that a person is great. And um, like how much money a person has does not equate to their to their greatness or their contribution to society. Um, there are many people who have millions and billions of dollars who take from the world as opposed to give to the world. And greatness has nothing to do. And a person can be great and not have any money. And what came to me was <clears throat> Mother Teresa and Harriet Tubman and you know, Frederick Douglass, like some of the people who have changed most of the people, um, God was telling me, the universe, all that is, Goddess was telling me that most of the people who have changed this world, they, they did it because they wanted to contribute to the well-being of humanity and that the universe wants me to stop associating money with being productive and as a gauge for success and greatness. So there was there was a lot of dialogue between myself and Goddess and God during that time period, which I thought was very rich and meaningful and I wouldn't change it for anything. So basically if you see something in your life and it's just coming and you wonder like why is it here? Always look up the symbolism because I promise you the universe is always going to talk to you in a way that you understand and it's usually for your highest good and you know I have to admit I'm very appreciative that the, that the entire all of my stings all over my body it took a lot I have a hard head child I'm a Capricorn it took a lot to get to me especially I was doing other things I was like no I'm gonna help somebody else write their book you know that I'm still writing you know what I'm saying and God was like no I'm not having it so Anyway, if you have something that's chasing you in your dreams or in real life, child, look it up, see what it means, and take heed. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching.